Hello and welcome to Dressy Speechless. Today's video is going to be another skin combo video and today's skin is going to be Groot. Let's get into this video. This video is going to be another skin combo video and today is going to be Groot and this video was suggested by Sherry's Parfit. Thank you very much for the video suggestion and they said Groot next to Groot skin. Is a part of the Chapter 2 Season 4 Battle Pass, part of the Groot set. And the actual Groot skin has four edit styles, which is default. The Silver Foil, which you got for reaching level 115. Gold Foil, which was for reaching level 155. And then the Hollow Foil for reaching 195. So I've made two combos for the Standard. Three for Silver, two for Gold, and then three for Hollow. Let's get into the first combo. So the first combo's back bling is the Survivor's Pack which is part of the Lara Croft set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 6 of Battle Pass. I'm using the standard edit style, which is the Survivor's Pack. We can also use the Lara's Backpack, both would work nicely, but I personally prefer the Survivor's Pack for this combo. Pickaxe is the Wick's Katana, which is part of the John Wick set, introduced in Chapter 5, Season 1. And this is John Wick's Backbling Slash Pickaxe. You can use it for both, but I'm using it for just the Pickaxe for this combo. Glider for the first two combos is a Root Wing, which is Groot's Glider, part of the Groot set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 4. I don't really have any other good brown gliders that go with the standard style of the Groot skin, so this is the only one I could really find to work. And the Contrail is Groot's Contrail, which is Saplite. Same again, I don't really have anything that goes nicely with the skin of the default style for Groot, so I'm just using his Contrail. And then the first weapon wrap is this one right here, which is Rogue Archaeology, which is part of the Indiana Jones set, introduced in Chapter 3, Season 3's Battle Pass. Indiana Jones was the secret skin from that season. I'm using this weapon wrap for the brown theme. Let's move on to the second combo now. For this one, I decided to use the Backbone Mutiny, which is part of the Scallywag set, introduced in Chapter 1, Season 8. Using it for the brown theme works very nicely, goes very nicely with the default style. Pickaxe is the Throwback Axe, which is part of the Origins set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 4. And this is basically the default pickaxe from Chapter 1. You can get it for free in Chapter 2, Season 4 just by like claiming it, which is pretty cool. So if you claim that, you can use this pickaxe. If not, and you do own the Walker Club, would work nicely as well. Steve's Bat, Simple Sledge, or even the Tech Axe, all of those would work nicely, but I'm using the Throwback Axe. And then the weapon wrap is Groot's weapon wrap, which is this one right here, which is the Sap, part of the Groot set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 4's Battle Pass. And then I only really have two brown weapon wraps, which was the Rogue Archaeology, Rogue Archaeology which I used in the previous combo, and this one here. Let's move on to the next combo, which is now the first combo for the Silver Foil style, which was for reaching 115, as I mentioned at the start of the video. Back bling is the Skull of Caliretus, which is part of the Downhill Demon set, introduced in Chapter 4, Season 1. And many use it for silver and the black, very nice back bling, works very nicely with the silver foil edit style. Pickaxe is the Snap Blade, part of the Special Operation Squad set, introduced in Chapter 4, Season 1. Many use it for silver of the blades, to be fair. The glider for the three silver foil combos is the Silver Surface Surfboard, works absolutely perfectly for the silver theme. Contrail is the Getaway Case, part of the Ghosts and Shadows set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 2's Battle Pass. I'm using this for Silver, it's the only Contrail I have that has Silver in it. But if you do have any other Contrails, as I guess Silver theme would work nicely, but this is the only one I really have. And then the weapon wrap for this combo is this one right here, which is Industrious, which is part of the Intrepid Engine set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 3's Battle Pass. You many use it for the Silver that it has on the actual weapon wrap. Let's move on to the next combo, which is combo number four now. For this one, I thought I'd use a set of wings. And what set of wings I'm using is a winged cavalry, which is introduced in chapter four, season one. As you see here, it has silver and a bit of black, but mainly using it for the silver. Pickaxe is the Love Lawn, which is part of the Cross Comms set, introduced in chapter four, season one. It's a fully silver designed pickaxe, which works absolutely perfectly with the silver foil edit style for Groot and then the weapon wrap for this combo is this one right here which is Pulse Phase introduced in Chapter 2 Season 7 which was basically the se season we had the aliens and had the UFOs as well but mainly using this for the silver but the black does go nicely as well. Let's move on to the next combo which is the final combo for the silver foil edit style. The back thing I'm using is the Love Fawn which is part of the Cross Comms set introduced in Chapter 4 Season 1 using it for the fully silver design. Pickaxe is the silver surface pickaxe Part of the Silver Surface set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 4, and using it for the silver design works very nicely for this edit style and also this combo. Let's move on to the weapon wrap now, 
which is this one right here, which is Gunner's Special, part of the IO Inquest set, introduced in Chapter 3, Season 2. At this stage, I ran out of silver weapon wraps. I'm using this one. It has a little bit of silver, silvery grey and black. It's the best one I could find for this combo. Let's move on to the next combo, which is now combo number 6. And the first combo for the gold foil edit style. Back bling is the prized llama part of, don't have a set, but introduced chat for season 4. This is back bling for the survivor medals. And if you've got the survivor medal challenge done for the mythic, you can use this style here for the gold. It's not the exact gold. I was even going to use this or the gold token, but I thought I'd use the prize llama for this combo. There isn't really many gold back blings or weapon maps in general that go nicely with the gold foil, but this is a pretty nice one I find for the gold theme, especially for the style mythic. Pickaxe is the gold crow. Part of the double agent set, introduced in chapter 2, season 3, using it for the gold and the black. Glider for the 2, or Umbrella for the 2 gold foil combos is classified, which was a victory royale umbrella from chapter 2, season 2. But you can use any glider or umbrella that's gold themed would work nicely. Contrail is the only, I think I have maybe one more. I have this and I never contrail, but this is my favourite gold one I have, which is ballistics. Once again, it's not the exact same gold, but it's the only. Well, one of the two gold contracts I have, and this was introduced in chapter one, season eight. Season, yeah, season eight. Let's move on to the weapon app, which is this one right here, which is an item shop weapon app, which is gold and black. Part of the undercover summer set, introduced in chapter two, season seven. And it is the midsummer Midas, so the summer version of Midas's weapon app. And basically, throughout the game, it gets more golden throughout, which is pretty cool. But if you don't have to just use any gold themed weapon app, if it has gold and a bit of black as well, that'd work nicely as well. As you can see, it's a little bit of black. Let's move on to the next combo, which is combo number seven now. For this one, I thought I'd use a set of wings, and I'm using the Shattered Wings, which is part of the Monarch set, introduced in Chapter 3, Season 1. This is part of the first ever level up quest pack we got, which was a Monarch level up quest pack. The edit style I'm using is golden, and got this for getting 28 level up tokens. So if you've done that before, that season ended or before the actual challenge is expired for the level up quest pack, you can use this golden edit style. If not, you can use any other set of golden wings you have. This is my best set of golden themed wings I can use. Pickaxe is the flawless part of the 24k set. In shoes in chapter 1, season 8's Bat Pass. And his Lux's pickaxe from that season. She has the tier 100 skin. Using it for the gold and the black. And if you don't have this pickaxe, use any pickaxe that's gold and black themed. Or fully gold if you can, ideally. If not, gold and black would be or work nicely as well. The wrap for this combo is this one right here. Which is Midas Memory from the Chapter 2, Season 2 Battle Pass. Part of the Golden Ghost set. Using it for the gold and the black. And it's Midas' wrap wrap from that season. He was the tier 100 skin. Let's move on to the next combo. Which is the final edit style now which is the rainbow foil, as you can see, or oh, hollow foil, I always call it rainbow, but it's hollow foil, and you've got this for getting to 195. The back bling for the first combo is Chica's Star, which is part of the Chica set, in season chapter 3, season 2, a very nice icon series back bling, especially when you use the Royale Streak edit style for the rainbow theme. Pickaxe is a real, which is J Balvin's pickaxe, part of the J Balvin set, in season chapter 2, season 7, as you see here, has a very nice rainbow design. The glider I'd side use is a rainbow rider, part of the sunshine and rainbow set, introduced in chapter 1, season 3, using it for the rainbow design, but use any glider slash umbrella as rainbow themed would work nicely, or just very colourful in general. The contrail is rainbow, introduced in chapter 1, season 3, but works very nicely for the rainbow design once again. The ref wrap is this one right here, which is definitely my favourite rainbow themed wrap wrap I have, which is a rainbow fog, introduced in chapter 2, season 4. It's a very nice animated wrap wrap, as you can see right here. Looks pretty cool on the weapons and just all of the actual wraps and just guns in general. Let's move on to the next combo, which is now combo number 9, which is this one here. Probably my favourite for the... What is the foil called? Hollow foil. I was going to call it rainbow foil, but the hollow foil. The back bling I'm using is a Marvel series back bling, which is Infinity Gauntlet, which is Thanos' back bling, part of the Mad Titan set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 7. Works very nice. It's got gold. It's got obviously the different colours of the Infinity, the Infinity Stones, which is got obviously yellow, yellow, red, blue, purple, and obviously the big yellow one as well, which is pretty cool. Works very nicely with the theme of the hollow foil colour scheme. Pickaxe is the Star Wand, introduced in Chapter 1, Season 8. It's an item shot pickaxe, I really do like this a lot. Works nicely for the gold, the pink, the light blue, the dark blue as well. And the wrap wrap for this combo is this one right here, which is the Wild Rainbow, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 7, part of the Sunshine and Rainbow set. I'm not 100% sure, I think this may have been a reward you can get for 
doing challenges in chapter 2 season 7 all you got for free i'm not 100 sure it may have been something you could claim in the archer but either way if you have this weapon app you can use it if not use any weapon app that's colorful or rainbow theme would work nicely let's move on to the final group skin combo now which is this one right here i wasn't sure what back bling to use so i just decided to use the bright bombers back bling which is a bright bag part of the sunshine and rainbow set in season chapter one season three see has a nice rainbow design also has a llama on it as well which is pretty cool pickaxe is a rainbow carver which is part of the undercover summer set in season chapter two season seven using this for the rainbow design and the final weapon wrap is this one right here which is shuffly shapes which is part of doesn't have a set in season chapter two season five and animate and reactive weapon wrap as you see has a lot of different colors has pink has yellow, has blue, has a little bit of red and a little bit of purple as well. So that's all the grouped skin combos done. Thank you once again to Sherry's Parpit for the video suggestion. I really did enjoy getting combos done for the skin. i never done combos for the skin, so I think, don't think I was making videos at the time when this the season was out, chapter 2, season 4. If I did, I wasn't doing skin combos. But this skin is pretty cool with the ed different edit styles as well. I'll just be continuing to get combos done. Like Suggestion-wise, I want to do unlock Super Shredder. I'll get combos done for him. If you do have any other video suggestions, you actually could be skin, back bling, pickaxe, glider, slash umbrella, concha, or weapon wrap, or anything other Fortnite related, always feel free to let me know. I'm always down to give something a go. But anyways, that was pretty decent.